We are a bunch of students from Leicester College in Glasgow. We have been finding out about recycling and what ways recycling can help. Hi, I'm John. We are we're doing recycling and we are and we're, we're trying to get encourage more people to put rubbish in the bin in the recycling bins instead of leaving them on the floor at time. The world is changing. We are running out of basic materials. We must recycle to create a sustainable environment. We looked around our college and the local community to see what facilities there were for recycling. Yes, we are in a new building in the Banksy College and, and we are in the canteen. There are, there are two bins, there's one not recycled bin and there's one recycled bin and it's for like, people in the canteen to chuck food in. But the only problem is that it's no marked type which food you should put in the bin. It's not very clear. As if, to be honest, I don't really know myself. So I think they should have signs of what, what food you put in, what food you don't put in. It makes life more easily for people in this college. I believe that we could work more with Langside College and probably more recycling signage, um, maybe better awareness, maybe working closer with the students and um, the lecturers on how we go about recycling. This is a letter from John Pugh, the estate manager at Langside College. He is talking about the policy of recycling. He says, the principal has prepared a climate change action plan which includes a section on waste management and recycling. Langside campus employ Shanks Waste Management Limited to carry out refuge, disposal and waste is segregated into green and orange bins. Orange is for recyclable materials material such as paper, cardboard, plastics and metals, while green is for waste to landfill. We are in the process of developing a carbon management programme which will hopefully enable us to incre incrementally meet the targets outlined in the principal CCAP. I wish you and your students good luck in your worthwhile project and will be available to discuss matters in more detail should you wish. Regards, John Pugh, the estate manager at Langside College. Well, my name is Graeme Hislop and I'm the principal of the college. I'm also responsible for the um, corporate plan of the college, which is the, the main source of our plans for contributing to the climate, climate change action. And in, inside our plan is a big a range of commitments to taking action to support the environment. Do you really know what can be recycled? <laughs> Today we've been collecting all, all different types of recycling. So we've we put it all out at Queen's, Queen's Park and we've just looked at a couple. They can recycle from bottles, cans, glass, um, chairs, clothes, food. You can recycle so much. So we learned today that you can recycle all different, there's a whole list. So there's not just one or two things, there's, there's a lot of things you can recycle. I think recycling is one aspect of environmental management, you've got, to, you've got to look at the whole problem that we face in the world mm -hmm. uh, in terms of the impact of climate change and the impact of iffy and dodgy materials. We've got a plan that's got recycling at the heart of it uh, because so much of our day-to-day -day work is about using things that you then discard, whether it's paper or plastic or pieces of machinery. Mm -hmm. So. Recycling is important, I think I would say that. Recycling is making waste products into new materials. Recycling is a lengthy process, including transportation to different facilities where they are cleaned and sorted. A lot of things we use today have been recycled again and again. Today is Friday. We're at the Pomedy Recycling Centre. Uh, 
We're going to take a look inside at the recycling waste. I think we should take a look there now. The materials reclamation facility brings in materials that are collected from the blue bins from curbside collection routes, from the public collection points across the city and from the recycling centres and the MRF separates that material out before it is sent to reprocessors to be recycled into new products. It collects plastic bottles, mixed papers and food and drink cans, the largest proportion of that being the mixed papers. The benefit of recycling this material is it diverts waste away from landfill, it reduces the financial burden on the council and it's more environmentally friendly to recycle as much material as we can. The message to the general public on recycling is to keep using your blue bins, to keep putting the materials in that we're looking for, mixed papers, cans, plastic bottles, and um, to continue recycling as much as they can. We are doing this to prove to the public that everyone and everyone else that the environment is important to us all, so keep it clean and pick up your mess. We have to be more sustainable to recycle as much material as we can, like I was saying, to divert the material away from landfill. So it's uh, imperative that everybody recycles as much as they can. I know there's debates about how best to do it, um, but for me, if everybody felt it, that it was a personal challenge that they could commit to, uh, that would be a big, big step forward. Recycle today, for tomorrow, do it. Recycle today, for tomorrow, do it. Recycle today, for tomorrow, do it. Recycle today, for tomorrow, do it.